Today, God's comforting voice is saying to you, Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. When you seek God first, seeking guidance every single day, something happens and your life will never be the same. Proverbs 3 says that when you do this, all other things will be added to you. It's not about knowing the way, but knowing the one who knows the way. Therefore, verses 5 to 6 say that you should trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all of your ways. Acknowledge him, and he will direct your paths. But here's the catch. It's not automatic. It requires that you open your heart to God. We learn from Jesus in Matthew 6, verse 11. Each day offers a fresh opportunity to tune in and ask the Lord for his or her plans for the day or what course of action they would like me to take. To pray in this way, give us this day our daily bread. Admitting that we might not know the route but trusting that he does is the first step to opening doors that we weren't even aware were there is like having a spiritual compass that always points north. When we allow God to lead our lives, it's like putting our whole trust in someone else to drive while we sit in the passenger seat. We aren't trying to accomplish everything on our own. Instead, we're relying on God because He knows the way better than we do. This conjures up one of my favorite verses from the Bible. Isaiah 29, 11, which reads, For I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future. By trusting in this promise, we experience true peace and freedom because we know that God is directing us toward the best outcomes for our lives on a daily basis. It can be tempting to draft our own life's plans and then assume that God will simply approve them, but this strategy can lead us astray. Instead, let's flip the script. Before making any decision, big or small, why not consult God first? If you accept the letting of the Holy Spirit and there is peace in your heart, you can move forward. If there is unease, perhaps it's a sign to hold off. Remember when Abraham was instructed to leave his home country in Genesis 12, 1. It's like Noah trying to build an ark without God's specific instructions. It just wouldn't float right. According to the Bible, the Lord had told Abram to leave his country, his family, and his father's home for a land that he would show him. Abraham didn't have a root plan, but he had peace in his heart. He trusted God's guidance, so we must do the same. Consistent fellowship is what it's all about. Would you utilize the news from last week to understand what is happening in the globe today? No, just as our connection with God is based on regular, often hourly, communication, it's important to maintain that line of communication open in order to receive clarity from God on a daily basis. Life is full of choices. Some are insignificant, yet some have the power to alter the path of our lives. Making these choices can be extremely difficult, but by constantly when we consult God, we discover truths that beyond our comprehension, He gives us a special viewpoint, directing our steps and assuring that we follow the pavement. 
Each day's obstacles are greeted with a new message from him directing us toward decisions that are in line with his plan, as he has laid out for us. My friends, allow me to reiterate that constancy in any relationship promotes intimacy. As we interact with God more, we come to know his nature, his love, and his desires for us, and this intimacy grows. A daily commitment to pursuing him assures that our link with God remains unbreakable even in life's storms and in a world full of noise. Trust comes from knowing God's heart, which makes it easier to put our troubles into his hands. Our trust increases as we see his promises come to pass day after day. And craving turmoil when things seem chaotic, God's presence brings a peace that is indescribable to human understanding. A daily dose of his word acts as a calming balm, restoring our spirits and reminding us of the bigger picture, his eternal plan for us. It is this peace that enables us to face challenges with courage and hope in every interaction. God gives wisdom, which is the capacity to apply knowledge correctly. By pursuing Him every day, we can access this divine wisdom, which aids in situational discernment, and act in ways that result in favorable consequences. In essence, seeking God daily is not merely a religious ritual, it is our lifeline, keeping us connected to the source of our strength, love, and purpose. With each new sunrise, we are given an opportunity to draw nearer, to lean in, and to be transformed by the richness of His presence. Let's look at the Israelites in Exodus 16:13 to see how this wisdom not only benefits us but also those around us. It enables us to be beacons of light offering godly counsel and God provided for them every day, even though they were traveling and felt lost. According to the Bible, quail arrived that evening and covered the camp and in the morning there was a layer of dew around the camp, reminding us that God is concerned about our daily struggles, victories, and everything in between. We can sometimes get stuck in our own past successes, believing that old strategies will help us overcome new problems. However, King Solomon in his wisdom said in Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 that God is concerned about our daily struggles, victories, and everything in between. According to the adage, to everything there is a season, and a time for every activity under heaven, there is a proper moment to alter our strategies because the world is changing quickly. Holding on to the past or allowing life to proceed automatically can leave us behind, but praise God for new mercies every morning. If you've been following the same plan for a while now, maybe it's time to take a second look at the manual perhaps God wants to do something new or something different in your life, can you handle it? Every morning Lamentations 3 verses 22 to 23 assure us through the Lord's mercies we are not consumed because His compassions fail not they are new every morning great is your faithfulness. Paul remins us in Philippians 4 13. In essence, life's journey isn't about sticking to what we know, rather, it's about receiving consistent guidance from the one who knows best. As we navigate the twists and turns, keep in mind that we have the best guidebook at our disposal. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, 
So let's be ready for change and refreshed daily by His Word and led by the Holy Spirit. Let's dive in and ask for His direction. The story of the Israelites and the Golden Calf is recorded in Exodus 32, 1-4. It is vitally important to seek God's guidance. Your divine compass is waiting for you each day. According to the Bible, when the people noticed that Moses was taking longer than expected to descend from the mountain, they gathered around Aaron and pleaded with him to make them gods to accompany them because they were worried about Moses, the man who led them out of Egypt. Aaron responded by telling them to break off the golden earrings that their wives, children, and daughters were wearing and bring them to him, along with all the other gods. In this instance, Moses was away on Mount Sinai, and the Israelites grew impatient. Rather than waiting and seeking guidance, they took matters into their own hands, leading to regrettable decisions. In a similar vein, when we face challenges, it's not always about charging forward. Sometimes it's about pausing, reflecting, and stumbling. Chapters 5 and 6. Instead of making hasty decisions and unnecessary conflicts, what if we took a moment to seek God's guidance? David, a man after God's own heart, never assumed he knew best before every major battle or decision he had to make. Even after defeating Goliath and many other opponents, he never assumed he knew best before every major battle or decision he had to make. But he understood that God's perspective was far more valuable than his past experiences. In our lives, we may think, I've done this before, I got this, but like David, we should keep in mind that every challenge, though it may seem familiar, has its own unique aspects. As we seek God's direction and make sure that our steps are in line with His plans rather than our assumptions, there is the cautionary story of Joshua and the dishonest Gibeonites in Joshua chapters 9 and 10. What can we gain from this? Nothing in this world is as it seems. The world can present us with wonderful chances that, without divine direction, might turn out to be nothing more than illusions. If only Joshua had sought God's wisdom their oversightment years of unforeseen connections and challenges you've probably heard the saying, all that glitters is not gold, and it makes me think of a funny story about two women who thought a rat was a chihuahua until they looked closer and saw that it was actually a rat. Before allowing people or situations into our lives, let's make sure they're genuinely good for us. Then what they seem to be many heartaches can be avoided with a quick check with our heavenly parent. My friends, as we navigate the broad landscape of life, let's keep in mind to pray every day, not just for the large decisions but also for the little, seemingly unimportant ones, such as starting a new business, getting into a new relationship, or simply facing a seemingly routine issue. If you've been relying only on your knowledge and experiences, perhaps it's time for a change. I invite you to seek out new insight today. I think that by doing this, God will give you a daily touch and direct your movements protect you from danger. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can receive all the benefits of this prayer. Now to all those inside the sound of my voice, 
let us go to the Lord in prayer. Father in heaven, to you be all glory, honor, and thank today I come before you with affection in my heart and hope for the day in advance give me this day my daily bread I seek your pardon as I forgive. And deeds today lead me in paths of righteousness and help me to be a beacon of light and love to those I meet. Father, I pray that I remain rooted in your truth, equipped to face the challenges of the day with grace and courage. In the name of Jesus, I declare clarity for each step I take. I seek your wisdom in every decision I make and I ask that your voice be the guiding light in my life. I rebuke any confusion hesitation and Lord, keep me from being sidetracked. Temptations are lies intended to mislead me I assert faith in clarity and direction in the name of Jesus. Knowing that you are guiding me, Lord, I pray that you grant me total healing of my body, mind, and soul through the wounds of Jesus. Now that I am whole, Lord, I ask that you strengthen me, renew the right spirit within me, and bring me peace that surpasses all comprehension. Father, I also pray for your divine protection over the lives of my loved ones. I declare that everything is working for us and not against us. May you bless us as we go out and as we come in. May you deliver and protect us from harmful influences as I announce that no weapon made against us will prosper. Lord, keep us secure from the enemy's snares. Father, I pray for your abundant blessings. As I pray this with everyone listening, Father, I am grateful for all the hearts that are turning to you right now. May each of us experience the warmth of your embrace, the assurance of your guidance, and the joy that comes from walking hand in hand with you. In my life, may you open doors for me. In the name of Jesus, I declare that your love, grace, mercy, blessings, and abundance will flow into our lives today. I thank you Lord for hearing and answering my prayer in the name of Jesus, I pray, Amen. If you were blessed by this message, type the word Amen in the comments section. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member who you know will benefit from this prayer, by clicking the like button and by subscribing to the channel for more encouraging videos. We appreciate all of our supporters because they are blessed to be blessings. Please feel free to leave your prayer requests in the comments section so that we can bring them before God for your blessings and success. Additionally, we will present them to God for your victory. Because we believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance in accordance with God's perfect plan, we want you to know that even if you don't see a reply to your prayer request, it doesn't mean that you weren't prayed for. Rest assured that we are actively lifting up each request to God that is in accordance with His will. To God be the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Stand in faith with us as we pray.